Hooters, place that is on the top of my bucket list. I mean, as an Englishman, as a British person, I cannot imagine a place where people wear this kind of uniform and people go and eat chicken wings. I mean, Hooters, Tooters, Cooters, whatever you call it. It, it is an American phenomenon. I mean, wow. Going to a place where women wear that. I, it's unimaginable to me. I mean, I imagine going with your parents. I'd feel a bit, all right, so where do you want to go for lunch? Should we go, should we go Hooters, Daddy? Now, why do you want to go there, son? I really like their barbecue wings. Well, so do I. Let's get in the G-Wagon. Hooters is a place on my bucket list that I must visit. And this story is just incredible. A transgender woman is suing, suing Hooters for discrimination after they refused to hire her based on her image. I mean, this woman on the left. I mean, who would you rather have? The original old women, ugh, gross, or this absolutely sexy, phenomenal looking unit serve your wings. I mean, the choice is yours. You know, them old fashioned women, you know, the originals, ugh, all these new women, you know, the women, the ones with beards and seven inches of penis they want to get rid of. What a waste, I say. Brandy has been a regular at the restaurant famed for its scantily clad waitresses. I think that means wearing nothing waitresses on Wolf Colony, a suburb in New York. Career, let me just, <laughs> with career aspirations of working for the chain. So her career, she, what her, her biggest goal in life was to work at Hooters. She applied three times and was unsuccessful because she is not a Hooters lady. Speaking, she's, speaking with the news, she said she was not respected as a woman at the establishment, alleging that the workers actively discriminated against her. They would use male pronouns, they would refer to me as he. I said, do you want to see my experience or anything? Because I had a previous job I wrote down. He said, oh, we don't care about experience. We hire on the basis of personality and there's an image that needs to be met. And it's true. No one's going to Hooters to see a fat old man with a beard. Everyone's going to Hooters for their chicken wings. That is a lie. They're going for the, the girls wearing nothing. I've never been. But that's what I know. What I know. I know men. That's why they're going. She had also heard employees and the manager at the restaurant harass her about using the restroom. She claimed, "I heard words, uh, left the restrooms talking to one of the managers. Said, why are you allowing him in the women's restroom? Oh, I don't like it any more than you do, and neither do I. Why? The, it depends what you. It's a sticky situation, isn't it? This whole trans stuff. You know, do they go in the bathroom? Do they not? I don't know. You know, what 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 apparatus has she got? What is she doing? Is she, you know? got one you know what women have or not i you know i don't know she then filed a claim who investigated and found evidence her rights may have been violated it's hooters have hit back saying has been told not to return to the establishment over alleged abusive behavior oh lawyer said livington made sexually explicit comments to servers on multiple occasions prior to her transition now so before she swapped sides she committed crimes and then she got caught for these crimes and then she went hold on a minute no that was my past self i didn't commit those crimes no my previous self did i'm a new person that's not me that wasn't me that was never me and then she thinks she gets away with it now she's suing him what a joke saying that uh, she asked servers to marry her and discussing doing it so look here's the hooters ladies all looking in fine apparel something you would be very proud if that came out of your nutsack and 20 years later turned out like that you would just be openly joyed so here she is i mean you know i'm all for you know inclusivity and everyone being happy but i think i know who i'd rather serve me my wings the company said she threatened to go to a gun range for practice for the next time you came to the restaurant so this woman is crazy my mum would take me to the gun range and clay pigeon shooting trap oh so she's a nutter she's a fucking hooligan now i first heard this story from matt walsh i'm not a matt walsh fan i don't really care about him i find his movie quite funny um but again i don't agree with him uh, insane story this creep was a regular customer at hooters he was allegedly banned for sexually harassing the waitress he came back dressed as a woman asking for a job hooters obviously turned him down he sued new york's found a human right evidence going against the human rights and that they were violated apparently this gross cross-dressing weirdo has human right to work at hooters pure unadulterated madness going to be a lot more if it's kamala elected okay so believe that what you think uh, we got a little video to play as well but you know should you know because they swap sides uh, should they be work there you don't have a right to work anywhere you know hooters has an image like they said they have to maintain interesting let's play this road for discrimination News 10's James De La Fuente has been following the story and begins our coverage tonight. The Hooters on Wolf Road drawing protesters twice in recent weeks. Justice for Brandy! Justice for... Look at the high quality here. Women are women. Equality for all. For all. 
or because she was not allowed to work in Hooters, would you like to see her in a Hooters unit? I mean, look at them. It's a bunch of 60-year-old fucking weirdos. That's... What the fuck? Oh, my God, she's talking. On the basis of accommodations and on the basis of employment. The restaurant has been a regular stop for Brandy Livingston. So much... So also, I'd like to point out, do you know how hard it was to find on the article that she, you know, was sexually assaulting people? It's interesting, that, isn't it? That they hid that all the way at the bottom. Me, personally, I think that's the most important factor. She sexually assaulted the waitresses, then transitioned, and then got refused the job. Let's keep it in order of timelines, yeah? Because you're manipulating the story, and that pisses me off. So, she hoped to someday work there. However, after her recent transition, Brandy claims that she's not respected there as a woman. I mean, this is a joke. Can you not see this as a joke? No one mentally normal, insane, comes out of high school. My life goal is to work in Hooters. No, that is n that is no one's life goal. You work there to pay a few bills when you're at college. You work there when you're just, you know, sh looking for a quick job. You your life goal, she's taking the piss out of everyone here. You would use... She loves um, the attention. And I'm happy to call her again. Bro, again. Again, I want people to be happy and I don't give a fuck. I don't. All right, but you can't take it out on other people that you don't fit their image. It doesn't matter what you look like. Well, it does actually, but it doesn't matter what you are. It's about their image. You can't come in and say, no, I fit that image. She's like, no, you don't. You do not fit that image. I honestly would refer to me as he. She claims it goes even further, telling me employees and management at the restaurant. Sh shitty signs, isn't it? I mean, look at the turnout here. I overheard one of the servers after I left the restroom talking to one of the yeah, managers. I mean, look at the size of that fucking melon. Jesus Lord, is that a man, is it a woman, is it a bird, is it a plane? Fuck knows, but it's not someone I want serving me chicken wings. And said that, why are you allowing him in the woman's restroom? Um, and the manager said, oh, well, I don't like it anymore, and you do. Randy filed a claim. And again, you know, she, w she was a man when she first came here, you know what I mean? And now she got caught and told off for assaulting these people. She's changed it. Manipulation. These people are mugging people off. They found sufficient evidence her rights may have been violated under New York Executive Law 296, and there will be a hearing. At will situation, um, you know, proving that. So Tully is that is that the person's original name? Just to clarify, is that what it is? The employer's reason they gave was wrong is is not enough. You gotta prove that it was discrimination on the basis of some prohibited characteristics, such as you know, gender identity. She says she applied three times for employment. I said, Do you wanna see my um experience or anything? Because I had previous jobs I've had written down and he said Do you wanna see my experience? You're working at fucking Hooters. Hooters, what what experience do you need? Like they said, they don't experience. They don't hire off experience. They hire off personality, off people, off character traits, which I think is a positive and a really important thing. You don't just get a job because you look, uh, because you you know you've got a certain you know you worked in hospitality or something like that. They're giving other people chances. At all, we don't care about experience. We hire on the basis of personality, and there's an image that needs to be met. Hooters has fired back, saying through their lawyers that Brandy was requested to not return to the restaurant because of what they say were her own offensive actions and allege that Brandy on several occasions made sexually explicit comments to servers. They just claimed that you had, prior to transitioning and after, you had frequently made multiple servers at the restaurant uncomfortable by informing them you wanted to marry them, discussing masturbation. I never said any of that. The Hooters company says that you had threatened to go to a... I never said any of that. It doesn't mean that the person before she was, he didn't say any of that. She's saying I, I am now a she. It's very... You've got to pick up on these things because it's important. Now, I believe Hooters. I don't think you would come out and lie about that. I'm sure there's multiple accounts, multiple peoples, and multiple um, testimonies that can be made to support that claim. I'm sure a lot of people in that restaurant know about it. But it's interesting said, I never said it. I... I, I I, I, I would be careful with what gun we say. Gun range for practice for the next time you came no to the evidence. restaurant. My mom would take me to the gun range and for clay pigeon shooting trap. I feel like one of the Again, completely irrelevant. It just goes on for the next 30 seconds of her saying she didn't say them sort of things. Why would Hooters come out and say that? Now, this is a problem we're going to have until the day we all die. You know, when you go to Hooters, it's always been about, you know, wearing. And older men probably larger men who maybe don't get the attention from women in real life go i'm not saying that's everyone but that's just my image and my uh, thoughts they go to this place they don't want to see a man who is wants to be called a woman and again i'm happy to call you a woman i don't care but it does just because you want to be called one doesn't mean you look like one 
just because you want to be called a woman and you have a penis doesn't make it, you know, okay for you to come to this. You know, you wouldn't go to a strip club, which is practically what this is. This is like a kid's strip club. You would go to, you wouldn't go to a strip club and go, hold on a minute, there's meant to be women here and there's a guy with a massive ball sack hanging out on the pole. You know, I mean, you you would you would be like, what is this? You know, it wouldn't be accepted. So it's interesting. Anyway, guys, this is a going to be a problem, I think, for many, many years um, until we get some proper legislation, proper, you know, rules on what to do. I don't think there should be any more rules, by the way. But how else do you stop this? It's interesting. Anyway, I want to hear your guys thoughts down below.